How to greet someone in English. Let me guess. You greet someone and you use the same expression over and over and over and you'd really just like to learn some other expressions, some natural expressions to learn how to greet someone the way a native English speaker would. Because I'm sure you don't want to greet every single person you meet with the same hello, how are you, right? That gets pretty old pretty fast. So in this video, I'm going to teach you 10 supernatural ways that you can greet anyone and sound like a native English speaker. How does that sound? Are you excited? Good. Of course, I'm Jennifer from jforestenglish.com and we have 10 greetings to get through. So let's get started. As a bonus, I'll also teach you 10 ways that you can reply to these greetings. So now you'll learn 10 natural greetings and 10 ways to reply to those natural greetings as well. How awesome is that? So the first one, we can take our very textbook, hello, how are you? And we can actually just take this simple expression and make it sound way more natural with two very easy changes. We can simply say, hey, how are ya? Hey, how are ya? Already, it sounds so much more natural. So, how could you answer this? In our textbook expression, hello, how are you? Most students would reply with, I am fine, thank you, right? We don't want that. So, you can say, hey, how are ya? And you can reply with, good, thanks, and you? Good, thanks, and you? Again, we can take our textbook expression and make it really natural by turning it into the present continuous. And we can simply say, how are you doing? How are you doing? And then you can answer, I'm doing great. This one is my favorite. I use it 90% of the time. How is it going? How is it going? All my students know this one because, of course, I'm going to teach them the way I greet people. How's it going? And to reply, it's going great. It's going great. Very important to notice that. It's going great. What's up? What's up? That's a fun expression. What's up? And to reply, not too much. Not too much. This one's a little more of a complicated structure, but native English speakers use it a lot. So I recommend that you become familiar with it. How have you been? How have you been? So try to match my pronunciation. How have you been? And to answer, been great, thanks. We can keep our answer nice and short by cutting out the auxiliary verb and just using the main verb. Been great, thanks. This one's fun. Long time no see, long time no see. Four words, long time no see, long time no see. And to answer, I know, too long. I know, too long. So we're agreeing with the person's statement that yeah, it has been a long time since I've seen you. That's really what we're saying if we were to say it in a full sentence, but we don't need all that complicated grammar. We can just say, long time no see. I know, too long. So by adding that too long, you're making a statement. You're making a personal statement that you would like to see that person more often. What's new? What's new? Now here, instead of just using a not too much, which would be the standard reply, you can actually tell them what's new. What's new? I just started a new job. Oh, cool. Slightly different. 
What's new and exciting? We like to add this, add in the exciting, just to put pressure on you that something exciting should be happening in your life right now, right? What's new and exciting? Well, if someone says this, you better think of something exciting to reply back with. I'm going to China next week. What's new and exciting? I'm going to China next week. Oh, super cool. And then the conversation will develop naturally. What's going on? What's going on? Not much. So here, just changing the not too much, which would be the natural reply with not much. What's going on? Not much. Boring, I know, it's a pretty boring answer. Doesn't give you a lot to go on in the conversation, but it's a common way to reply. What's happening? What's happening? Same old, same old. So here I'm actually saying same old, same old, but notice for pronunciation, I'm really just dropping those Ds. Same old, same old, same old, same old. It's a lot easier to say. What's happening? Same old, same old, which means nothing. <laughs> Basically, just the same thing happening again. Same old, same old. All right, so now you have 10 very natural greetings and 10 ways you can answer these greetings. So let me know in the comments, which one of these was new for you? Which one do you like the most? And which one do you plan to use? I can't wait to hear your reply in the comments. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy studying. Wow, you're ready for your next video? That's awesome. Try watching this one. I know you're really gonna like it. Or you could try this one too, it's pretty awesome. And don't forget to subscribe, that way you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Thanks so much for learning English with me, bye!